All right, so today we are looking at Zedak Zeman, one of my favourite coaches of the kind of the 90s Italian football era. Completely ripped the rule book up with his exciting offensive brand. And I've been using this exciting 4-3-3 in my stream save. It has saved my season with Kiva Verona. I'm live streaming that over on Twitter. If you like Italian football, you like a comeback story, we've started in the fifth tier. This tactic, we plugged in halfway through the season. And the second half of the season, we played 21 games, 18 wins, three draws, zero defeats. And we managed to get promoted to Serie D at the first time of asking. This is attacking offensive. No short passing, none of that tippy-tappy, as Sam Allardyce likes to say. It is get the ball, ball forward, get players going into channels. You need a strong side, a strong physical side. And we'll talk about what kind of players you need to suit this tactic. Patreons, you have now got the file down in the description. Go check out the Patreon link. Go and copy that, put it in, plug it in, let me know how it goes. Everybody else, if you don't want to support me on Patreon, no problem. I am going to go through the tactic step by step and show you all the PIs, TIs, everything you need so you can recreate this in your FM23 save. All right, guys. Okay, so this is me at the moment. This is our tactic right now. We've moved up into a new league and we are top of the league. So it is performing well at a lower level, but this here was last season's schedule. And as you can see, we started after our 1 0 away defeat. We then plugged it in 21 games. Look at the goals. It is goals, goals, goals. And Zedak Zeman was famous for this quote A 0 0 is boring. It's better to lose 5 4. At least it gives you some excitement. And as you can see from this tactic, boy, does it. 5 threes, 4 twos, 5 twos, 5 ones, 4 threes, 2s, 3s, 5s, averaging over 3 a game. And here it is. 4-3-3 three, three, with a little bit of a difference now. There's an argument you could say for his tactics that his inside, his three strikers would kind of be out here, but they were very, very narrow. And in possession, they were literally three strikers. So you've got a couple of opportunities. I've tried with both and I've tried having two inside forwards on attack with sit narrow, but this just gives you so much more in the match engine in terms of balls over the top, working the channels and creating havoc and overloads, and especially when you're wanting to counter-attack. It is quite a basic tactic in terms of goalkeeper on defend, no player instructions, a wing back on attack, no player instruction. Remember, we are playing this in City of what? D and E. Both wing backs actually on attack, no player instructions. Central defenders, we've got both on defend, but both with the instruction of pass it shorter. That's just to recreate a little bit of passing to get the ball into these midfielders rather than the defenders putting it long. I'd rather the defend. I want to see the defenders playing it out wide, trying to keep possession, playing it into these midfield just so we don't go too long too early. In the mid in front, Anchorman literally there just to sit, allow the wingbacks to get forward, allow the, the midfielders ahead of him to get forward. He's going to sit in there, very aggressive. We need them. Followed up by, now this is a bit of a difference. You could go carry Leros, you could go central midfielders on support, but I do like the late runs that the box-to-box -box midfielders are making. A lot of these strikers are working channels and it just gives us that little bit of kind of danger from outside. We've had setbacks, we've had shots from the outside of the area. I will be showing you a few clips in a minute just to show you their positions. But two box-to-box -box midfielders as standard with no player instructions. And then the front three... Two pressing forwards. If you do have a really big target forward, you could use one of those, but make sure they target forward on attack and they have the pace. So like a Beto, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, a Haaland, those sorts of players. The ones that are a little bit static, absolutely not. And in the middle, you've got a poacher. Now, the poacher, I'll just say, average rating right wise, they do not get very good average ratings unless they score goals. So don't expect in big numbers from him. But often in the game, they get a really low average rating if they haven't really had an attempt on goal and a shot. So it's all about providing service for this man and I suppose these three here. Right, attacking mentality, we want to take as much risk as possible. Fairly wide attacking width. I have changed this depending on my opponents. If I'm finding a team of being a little bit sort of like narrow, compact, low block, maybe even three at the back, I do then whack it right up to the top just to give us a little bit more width and to spread their back line out a little bit or try and spread their midfielders out a little bit wider. It's passing to space, slightly more direct and higher tempo. Hit crosses early. If you have got a really big man up there, I would probably put floated crosses. We've not had that luxury yet with Kiev in terms of real big target man. In transition, I'm asking the goalkeeper to take short kicks and get the ball out to the fullbacks. Counter press, aggressive. We've got players up there who are going to be up there in terms of even the midfielders, the box to box midfielders, and 
the three forward so it makes sense to press and counter. This is where we're going to catch teams out. Can we turn the ball over? Can we break? Can we get balls into channels? Can we get those three V3s in particular for wing backs move forward? Can we get those three attackers playing against three defenders? Distribute quickly to help with the counter attacks from a, a deeper position. Out of possession, much higher line. It is very aggressive. Get stuck in. Remember, the offside rule was different in the early 90s as well, so that helped. Much higher defensive line, higher press, leaving the trigger press as standard. Get stuck in. All right, that is the tactic. It is very, very simple, but it is so effective. And it's nice to do something a little bit different. We're all in our 4 3 threes with fancy, fancy short passing and loads of beautiful rules. This is very different, and I'm just going to show you some clips in the match engine right now. Okay, so here's the first goal. As you can see, there is the three. You've got your two defenders, you've got your wing backs, and your midfield three in there. We go along, a lot of seconds ball. This is why I think the two box-to-box -box are key, and I also forgot to mention as well, your box-to-box -box midfielders, I think, want to be big, aggressive, plenty of stamina, good breaking down. So you talk these really strong, aggressive eight will really fit the bill well for this tactic. We work it out wide. And it's bodies in the box. Three strikers against four defenders. This is why profile of strikers, anyone over six foot, target men. This is my poacher getting right in the centre of goal. Even your poacher, if he's a good target man with good heading, good tackling, getting plugged in into the poacher position. And then once again, ball out to the left-hand side. A launch in. So he's pulled a defender out there. That looks maybe potentially the fullback. Create a little bit of space. We work the line. It's a simple ball in the box, look. And there is my pressing forward getting into the area. And what I do like as well, look at the two box-to-box -box midfielders. So anything coming, falling out in those areas, we'll see in a minute, are able to then pounce on anything around the edge of the area. And then this one, we get a second ball and we work it. There's our anchor man just sat in front, look. Midfielder coming short. Barazaghi, our left fullback now, was in the space. We're going to exploit that space, look. Baggio in, lovely touch. Lovely finish. We get a lot of those goals. We've sort of like fullbacks getting destroyed. A little bit of space for the wide strikers to move into. So the two wide forwards are really key to this. I would make sure they're, once again, good physical profile, good pace as well. And they'll be able to beat the offside trap, work those little channels, those little spaces where maybe the fullbacks move forward out of the way. And then you can count us so much better. Once again, fullback absolutely rampaging forwards. Finds the uh, pressing forward and he crossing early straight away. Get the ball into the box. Said you've got play, three players that are half decent in the air. You're going to score lots of goals. And then this one's come from a throw in. Set back. Cleared out. Where's my central midfielders? Boom, there he is. Esposito strikes. Finds the net. But what I do like is Musati. He's my anchor man look. So if there is a breakdown in play, any balls in this area, he's going to be able to pick up and recycle possession. So the anchor man does pick up really good positions that is the tactic that was actually against the team in a pre-season friendly that were a league above us we have beaten teams above us three and four nil in pre-season plug it in you do need to be strong good good wing backs who can cross center backs i think need to be pacey pacey and strong work with the counter attacks your anchor man obviously solid in possession solid defensively two box to boxes two eight strong six foot good stamina good all-round abilities Three strikers, your wide strikers in particular, a little bit of pace, a little bit of power. Your poor poacher doesn't so much. I think you could fit maybe a static striker a little bit. If you have got a target man who is exceptional, put him as a poacher as long as he's got good finishing. Plenty of balls. Rizzuti scored about 40-odd goals for me this season and about 30 of them would have been tappings and headers. Cutbacks, crosses into the box, you'll be golden. Make your team physically strong and you'll be fine using this. 4-3-3. Three, three. Zedak Ziman's ultra-attacking tactic for FM23. All right, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what other tactics you'd like to see on the channel. Check out the rest of the content as well. Busy couple of, busy couple of weeks on the channel going forward. Cheers, guys. Take care. See you later.